So we're getting ready, Ryan over there and myself, uh, freezing cold night, but we're gonna take this for a spin so that we can finally uh, start tearing it apart to put on that or to put that on here. Anyway, we got our DeWalt light bar there, <laughs> pretty cherry. Got our suspension fixed. Um, yeah, Ryan's either going to Flintstone it or the <laughs> transmission and everything are going to work, which is hopefully the case. All right, let's see if she'll fire up and take it for a spin. So far, so good. The secondary clutch got a little bit damaged in the wreck, so we'll see. Hopefully it'll work good enough just to make sure the transmission and everything else works just fine. Hey. And if it tipped. <laughs> if it tipped over, it would really suck with no cage. He'll be looking for his hat right here. I got your hat. Yep. That's, that's so sketchy. <laughs> Well, there is one super awesome benefit to living right across the street from the transfer station. That is access to their scale. So Ryan decided to drive over to the scale and see what it weighed. We were both super curious to see with it all stripped down what the weight would be. As you'll see when he pulls up here, well, actually you won't be able to see because the digital readout doesn't show up on the video camera, but what it does read is 1400 pounds even after Ryan gets out of it. Now I feel like that might be a little heavier than what I thought, but we'll call it good. At least we have a base weight to go off of. So hard to like drive right now with no floorboard because you try to brace your foot <laughs> yeah you just gotta basically free hang your legs yeah she's uh, a little squirrely i like it and i mean if i was driving i'd be a little worried without a cage but I, there was a few times i got a little sideways <laughs> having to remind myself there's no cage no no <laughs> cage seats are kind of bolted down no harnesses I mean, and a little bit of a coolant leak, but other than that, I think she's a... Uh, she's a ripper. She's a ripper. This is the last time you'll see it together like this, so... There it is. We're going to start ripping the front end apart on it because we have to extend. I don't even know if I mentioned that yet, but coming off here, we're going to have to narrow up right here a little bit, so... We'll probably turn and go in. Um, this thing, probably the same thing. Where those are, you're gonna have to add 12 to 14 inches. See if Boondocker still makes their 12 inch extension kit for that, because then it would come with the wiring, the drive line, and all that. If not, I guess we'll do it. So, anyway, I'm out of breath. Just came racing back here from the way station. So, I'll leave you with that tonight.
Well, there we go. That's about how long it needs to be. So we just need to get some materials and start welding stuff up. Thanks to Mark and Jeff. Got the uh, razor body in there, the razor, the Model A backside of the tub in there. And we're going to put the razor on there. Well, there you go. There's the back part of the tub of the Model A. And we are heading down to the shop to uh, drop this stuff off down there and start more fab work down there. There's the razor on the back of Mark's trailer. And you can't see it, but the front part of the tub for the razor is on there as well. So get that down there, get unloaded, and we'll get back at it.